Now, Blu-ray discs have been with us since 2006, and most people that you stop on the street would assume that the quality of a Blu-ray disc is that much better than that of a DVD. Well, we thought we'd put this to the test in our labs and make a true comparison. Now, Mike Briggs, you were involved in setting up this test, being our TV expert. How did you set it up? What, what came about? Well, what we did, Ben, we, we selected um, 17 Blu-ray and DVD movies, and we had a couple of our expert viewing panel who, who watch TV, who watch video all the time um, for part of the regular witch tests. And we watched the DVD and the Blu-ray at the same time on two identical Sony TVs with two identical Blu-ray players. Um, we then had our two experts rate each picture accordingly, and we did that for all 17 films. So what was the golf in quality like? Um, I'm assuming Blu-ray was far superior to DVD. Well, it, it was sometimes. Um, we, we had three distinct camps. At the top, we had five discs, including Zulu, which looked absolutely outstanding, far better than the DVD. At the second camp, we had, I think it was four discs, which were, again, much better than the DVD, but they weren't outstanding. They, weren't, they didn't feel like the sort of full HD quality we were expecting. And then the third group, which is the most interesting one, we had eight discs. Now, in these eight discs, the Blu-ray were only marginally better than the DVD, or in a couple of cases, no better at all and we weren't seeing much difference. Now this is despite, typically, Blu-rays costing twice the price of DVDs. Now you mentioned that Zulu was outstanding. Um, what other films did we look at and what other specifics did you find? Yeah, well like, like I say, yeah, Zulu was, was a great example. That looked absolutely stunning, like a whole different new film um, when, we were, when we were watching that one. Um, at the other end of the spectrum, we had Ghostbusters which um, the, the DVD didn't look great, but the Blu-ray wasn't much better either. And we actually saw some really interesting stuff where it, it seemed like the, the colour and the, the, the white balance had just been notched up. But at the, sometimes at the expense of detail, we had a spot where the New York skyline in Ghostbusters, there was actually less detail on the Blu-ray than the DVD because the white was so saturated, which was a real, real shock. So what do you put this down to then? Because it doesn't seem to me that it's dependent on the age of the film. No, well, it, it, it's a funny one. We asked the uh, British Video Association about this and um, we, we, we let them into some of our findings. They're, they're the body that represents lots of the major studios in the UK and their home video output. And uh, basically they just said, well, blu rays better than DVD and we've got the research, the consumer research to prove it. And that's what we found. Well, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. It, it, it is, you know, it, it is better. But that's, it's, that's not going deep enough. Um, we found that gulf in quality between the very best and the rest was, was, was massive. So yeah, wh why is there that difference? What we think's happening here is that the different films are being upconverted from different quality sources. So, for instance, you have new movies, films since 2006, digital movies optimised for high definition, they look they look great, they look great in our test. Then you have some old classics like Zulu, like Wizard of Oz, the gems from the studios, which the studios, it would seem to us, are taking a lot of time and effort um, rema um, remastering those original uh, master tapes um, for high definition. The effects look brilliant. And then in between, we, we, I think what we're seeing are copies of copies of copies being um, remastered and um, upconverted for high definition from um, standard def definition sources. Well, you mentioned that you expect studios spending a lot of time and effort turning these gems into top quality Blu-ray discs, and it's understandable that they couldn't spend that money on everything. But if I take Zulu and Ghostbusters and look at the box, there's absolutely no way that I could no, tell that one's great or one's not. I mean, do you have any tips for anyone who's looking to buy Blu-ray discs this Christmas? Well, the absence of any decent labelling system, I mean, we'd recommend get, try an online forum, seeing if you can uh, see something in movie magazine reviews. I think Total Film sometimes refers to the quality of the Blu-ray transfer. Um, it, you know, it's not a, um, a perfect guide, but it might give you an idea. What we would like to see is that if the movie has been mast remastered, from its original source, we'd like to see that on the front of the uh, Blu-ray disc. Yeah, absolutely, Mike. Now, if you're interested in how all the titles that we've looked at performed in our tests, then make sure you check out the full investigation at which.co.uk forward slash Blu-ray investigation.
So my this separate this one of the